Márcio André da Costa Júnior. All right, in the blue gi, back at it is Isa Dwerdlin. After that savage 90-second footlock earlier here in the featherweight division, he's back to face off this man in the white gi, Marcio Andre. I say Isaac is looking incredibly focused. The Alliance team member, student of the, the great Cobrinha, Rubens Charles. Looking for the takedown attempt, but it's Marcio Andre with the guard pull. Marcio Andre definitely had the more energetic uh, matches of the day so far. To line finished his match against Rafael Mansour in around about a minute and a half. An absolutely brutal straight ankle lock. So winning that that quarterfinal by submission. And right now, Marcio Andre he had a he had a very very tough 10 minute battle with the uh, the 2018 silver medalist, world silver medalist Leo Sajoro. Third line on top here. Doing his best to deny Marcio Andre the positions that or the grips that he needs to attack. We saw it in the match earlier, Sean, that the Marcio Andre's guard is close to being bulletproof. You know, if he can withstand the pressure of somebody like Leo Sagiotto, an incredibly tough physical competitor like that, then Isaac Dwerdline. You know, he's an amazing competitor in his own right, but what kind of, what, what can he offer to Marcio Andre's guard that Marcio has, hasn't already <laughs> seen with somebody like Leo? Yeah, that's going to be a, a tall, a tough challenge. And, you know, he has been, show, he's shown uh, some versatility, he has a uh, daughter line of, 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 of trying to invert under guards and, and things like this. And then, we saw in his last match, obviously, we're, we're just giving uh, Rafael Mansour praises and all of a sudden, whack, a straight footlock uh, comes out of almost nowhere. So that type of versatility at least will give him some, some threats that might open something up. Lasso on the left side, though, shutting everything down. Yeah, Maso Andre's guard is uh, practically impenetrable yes. for, uh, for all intents and purposes. Yeah. So flexible, so... He's so mobile mm -hmm. with, his, with his legs and with his hips, his dexterity, of course, incredible. And uh, this is definitely a much more, shall we say, a considered approach from, uh, from Dwerdlein. Dwerdlein is definitely, he's an incredible competitor. He's, he's technically, he's, he's fantastic from both top and bottom. But I think he's, um, he's definitely playing this quite cautiously. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that actually might, he, he might need to just open up and take some risk and try to get a little reckless. He's technically enough, technical enough, it's not going to be real reckless, but open up the game and just go for it. Here we'll see if he's going to use a, a foot attempt to uh, untie the spider guard, which... Well, that's two points for Marcio Andre coming up on yeah. top now. Now Isaac passing the foot over into the 50-50 rather than rather than going for the uh, the straight angle log attempt like we saw earlier in the match with Mansour. Yeah. And now that'll and be. And he doesn't attack for the two points back for that. Yep. Just a little seesaw in the 50-50. He we don't really see him attack for the straight angle lock from the 50-50. He's much more of the, the traditional same side grip. Yeah.
little game of uh, of teeter totter yep, right here. Yep. This 50 50, of course, is uh, the battles of one and loss and the tiniest of details here in this position. Yeah, that it's that right arm of Marcel Andre. It's, it's wrapped around. It's going to overwrap with the lapel. That's very difficult to get your leg out when someone has the the, the arm wrapped around the, the leg like that. Isaac thinking about a footlock now. He is thinking about it. He's trying oh, wow. to yeah, you can yeah. see the effort on his face, but yeah, but he's gotta get untie all this his other his other foot. He's trying. He's trying to get that dip that right knee in the middle. He is, he's got that foot on the hip and he's definitely um definitely doing his best to, 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 to put the hips into it, but his foot position in is wrong to try and get the leverage in there. And yeah, he's it's trying definitely to, a threat, but yeah. If you're wondering what the noise is, uh, Michael <laughs> Musmechi has just dethroned the 10-time IBJJF world champion Bruno Malfasini in the Roosterweight semi-final on the other mat. So you can see it in the background over there. <laughs> the uh, two-time world champion in the light featherweight division fighting in the Roosterweight, Michael Musmechi, just with a, a, a huge win over there on the other mat. But back here in the action on mat two, the semi-final here in the featherweight division with Marcel Andre and Isaac Duerdelein. Just locked up, shut down in this 50-50 position. Really, both of them unable to escape. Marcel Andre coming up now. Scooting out is Isaac Duerdelein. This is good work from, from both men here. Marcel yep. Andre back with that flexible guard. Just so relaxed, so composed that forward pressure. Head down is Isaac Goodline driving forward. Now the difference in this one versus the last one is he was up by an advantage on, wow, there, there's a nice movement to get underneath here, foot on the bicep, but he was up by an advantage when he, when Andre fought Sajioro. So he, he could hang out here this is a little different where it's all even, so it's to be real safe, Marcel Andre needs to get a little busy. Yeah, he, 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 I think it's as important to him as it is to Dota Line to put something on the board as, as simple as an advantage, but something. The lapel tangled around his leg right now. Yeah. Marcio Andre you may see him go for the uh, possibly a lapel a plata from this position. They're very strong, actually. Uh, yeah. A great way of, of. Oh, there we see it. No, knee bar attempt. That is knee bar attempt. That's that looks tight. Uh, was on for a moment. It's going to wow. get an advantage. Marcio Andre yeah. lucky to escape out of that. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, I'd say that must that went on for a moment and then. Uh, and he gets two yeah. for coming up on top as well. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was interesting. The knee bar attempt there from the uh, lapella plata from Marcio Andre gave knee bar, the knee bar attempt the, uh, the opportunity. But Marcio just ate one. it for those yeah. sweet the points. Semi-final match. In blue, representing Cicero Costa International. Wow. Right around just over a minute remaining in this match here. Isaac Durdline taking a look at the scoreboard. Down two points, but up one advantage. If he gets one sweep back now, he can take this match. Might be a tall order to finish this match at this point. Triangle attempt. <laughs> yeah, he tries to shoot it up there. I gotta say, one thing I've li really liked watching with uh, Isaac is his, his just his aggression in these positions. Yeah. Back take attempt. There's Crap a sweep. Ride. Comes up for the sweep. 
Needs to get Marcio Andre down to get those sweet points. Needs to get him down. Both knees on the ground. 25 seconds remaining. No hooks in, no points for the back. Marcio Andre doing such a great job of denying those hooks. If he can keep him down, he will get the sweep advantage. No sweep points. What does Isaac need to do to score this? Well, the scoreboard right now reads 4-2, two advantages for Isaac. They did not give him the two points for stabilizing position right, right. from that sweep attempt. And the mat return after they came up into that back position. Wow, he's so close. To, I mean, Marcel Andre, just his ability to defend the hooks in that yeah. position. Incredible, phenomenal. A crazy last ditch effort there by Doderline is really. And it looks like the referees, scramble, yeah. the, the referees are taking it. a look at this. Yep. We've seen the, the, the sender ref signaled by tapping his ear. That means that the the referees that with the instant replay off screen are actually watching this yep. right now to determine whether it should be two points. From us, uh, excuse me, for Isaac Dudeline for that last sequence right there. They're taking a quick look at it on the screens, uh, just off the sidelines here. So we're, we're waiting for the official result because this will either stand as is, or we could potentially see Isaac Dudeline take this. Yeah. Because if they give him two, he will win. He's got up by two advantages. So here we go. We'll see. Let's stands. Marcio Andre goes through into the featherweight final here of the 2019 IBJJF World Championships with that 4-2 win over Isaac Dwerdlein. And wow, what a dramatic finish to that match, Sean. <laughs> yes. Here's the end. We've got a replay here of the uh, of the match. Yeah, some of the action that we saw in there. But it's really that last sequence that was so... Here was the knee bar attempt from the lapel of Plata. Oh, oh, it's coming, it's yeah, coming. It's coming. Yeah, the here is actually when uh, when Isaac comes around, almost uh, gets up. Here's the nice triangle, triangle attempt then, that he turned into uh, this, this coming here, right out the here. back door yep. with the crab ride, and almost so close to getting the back. Marcel Andre's ability to defend that position, second to none. Yeah, just floated too high. Couldn't put him down. Phenomenal.